Hello, welcome back to the channel where we develop software for self-driving cars. And we make it available to everyone with a computer because we use Color Driving Simulator. Here we break the daunting task of autonomous driving into smaller manageable blocks, so you could get into it at your own speed. And you can have some fun by staging things in the simulator like this little trick. Today we're doing a very small tutorial on version 9.15 updates for the cameras. Um, as you remember, version 9.14 uh, has a problem where there is a blurry image coming, uh, coming out at a certain aspect ratio. And what we're doing today is just checking if that's been fixed in the new version. So we're going to launch the simulator from the old version first, just to see what I'm talking about. Okay, the simulator is now ready. We'll just put it here so you can see it's there. And, and for this, I just made a copy of our initial tutorial. So I just made a copy of tutorial one where I show how to set up a camera and do all get that kind of jazz. And I simplified it a little bit and I put some description below. So what we're going to do is remember, we first run it in the, um, in the version 9.14 of the simulator. And then however you set up your Python environment, I know this one in my Python is called TF2. It's under version 9.14. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go through these steps and run them. And we just run them one by one. And we're just about to set this car off in autopilot. So the car has gone off. And what we're doing here is, remember, version 9.14 was absolutely perfect in that 16.9 uh, or 16 by 9 resolution, which is like wide standard resolution so i've changed it here to be a square you can see to these things and i will set up the camera and then i'll kick off this loop that will bring another window that essentially is showing me what the camera is showing me and then it will show in me this until i press q and you see how this loop is set up and some of you were asking question how to record this like you this is one way to record the simulation from the camera you can just save in these images and then read them back as a video so that's another trick now we press q on this one we cancel it then we run this and we stop kill all cars and uh, all cameras and all that so what we need to do now is we need to restart our simulator in version 9.15 okay so you can see me physically going and launching another simulator program from the other folder and also what I need to do is I need to pick a different kernel here. And I've got this one that I know I've created with 9.15 version of color and the actual like um, Python code of color as well. So we will just try to rerun everything. And sometimes you, you just have to restart your PC as well because you could have some issues uh, setting up. Uh, the new sim may be running under different this one now you see um, I need to restart my computer I'll be back okay I've restarted my PC so everything should be back to normal now it's a very big pain when you start a new instance of a simulator sometimes this these ports that you can see I think what could be happening the old one or remaining of it could, might still be running and the new one starting on the new port and like I don't ask me anything about ports I hate them <laughs> I try to stay away of anything that has port in its name. All right, running this. The car is ready. Sending it in autopilot. You see, we still have one to one aspect ratio of the camera. We're starting it now, and then we're going into our loop. And El Presto. You can see the 915, the camera is working fine. So, Whoever has issues in camera, um, how you saw it before, where the image is just unusable, this is the fix. Either get it into version 9.15, if you can, or use that 16 by 9 resolution ratio or aspect ratio when you set up the camera. And sometimes whatever you're trying to do, 16 by 9 is, by, by 9 is not an option, so you just have to get the later version. Or if you need to, you, you can go back to version 9.13. That, uh, that works fine in that one as well. So, But the good news, they fixed it in the current version. Okay, that was it for today. Thank you very much. And I'll see you in the next video.